Hi everybody! Happy Friday and happy new catalog day! Today is an exciting day. I feel like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this catalog to go live and now it finally is. Hopefully you have a catalog already. If I can find mine. And if you have it, you probably want to get it today. I'm going to go through it a little bit. Hi Alessandra! I'm going to go through it a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite things. And um, I want to point some things out to you that you might have overlooked. Hi, guys. Okay, so let me um, do my little sharing thing. Um, I've got really good sharing prizes today. Hi, Kimberly. Um, so if you guys will share... Um, Make sure my sound is off. If you guys would share, you'll be entered to win. This week, my prize for sharing are stamp sets. Usually I do embellishments, but this week it's stamp sets. So you definitely want to share. Um, and I'm going to share over to my business page. Hi, ladies, Denise, Emery. Okay, so who's put their order in already? Um, I thought it was 1 o'clock central today. Maybe I had my calculations wrong because at noon it was up. So either they got it up early, or, hi Kara, or I just was totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know. And you know, that could be, uh, that could be the case. Okay, let me do this. And then I'm gonna show you some really, really cute things. Let's see. I drove to the other side of town today to get some cookies. Um, last year I had the cutest cookies you have ever seen for my catalog kickoff. And, um, unfortunately that, that girl that does my cookies, it's done them for my last two events. She's out of town. So I was really sad. Um, so she sent me a couple of other people in town that could do them. And so I just picked the first one and she was able to do them because I waited Last minute, I guess, two weeks feels like last minute when you have to order custom cookies. Um, and it was far. So those of you in San Antonio, you know, it was all the way almost to downtown. <laughs> so I went, I had a thousand, a, not even a thousand, I have a million things to do today to get ready for tomorrow's BOGO sale and catalog kickoff. But I went and they're, they're cute. They're different. They're, you can tell two different artist styles. But they did a really good job. And she actually said it was her husband who do, does all the the fine, you know, um, icing work. So anyways, uh, let me pull this up because I can't see your comments. Um, okay, so I asked you who's ordered. I know my demonstrator friends who are on here probably have ordered. Okay, now I'm not seeing all the comments. Okay, yeah, now I'm seeing them. Barbara, your order is in. Good, yeah, I have already put, I actually was saving some stamp and rewards. So I put that in right away and I put in um, something else. Oh, um, my friend Rhonda and I um, are planning some projects for a demonstrator online event and I had to get those right away because I have, I have a real quick turnaround. I have to plan those projects. So I got that order in and then I was starting to key in my In Color Club um, order, um, but I haven't finished. So. Lots of fun things. So I want you guys to share with me what you're most excited about, what was on your first order, um, what you're curious about, what you have questions about, and I'm gonna try to follow along. I am not really very good at reading and doing stuff at the same time, so I might have to come back and answer you, but I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna see um, what you love in this catalog and um, so that I can order those things and do those Facebook Fridays. Now I'm gonna get the camera and show you the cookies in a second, but I do wanna tell you that starting next Friday, my kids are home for the summer. And if you were with me last year, you know how it's like craziness around here. Um, so I really wanna stick to Facebook Friday. However, our schedule is crazy in the summer. If you're a mom, you know. We're traveling a lot. Um, but also my kids, you know, are going to want to go here and there or whatever. So I'm going to plan on Facebook Fridays 
every week. However, they may be at different times. They possibly might be on a different day. Um, but just keep an eye on this and in my email newsletter. And I'm going to try to keep you guys updated as best I can. Um, there will be a few weeks where I can't do it. Um, but I'm going to try to do it as much as possible because it's really fun. I really like doing this with you guys. I like to um, hear from you and uh, see what you uh, say about the products and the questions you have. So, so anyways, next Friday, as of right now, we're going to be at the same time. That'll be the first day of summer. Um, and it may be crazy. We have added a bunny <laughs> to our crazy house. So now we have two bunnies and two dogs. Um, and it is crazy town like I thought it was before and now it's even crazier. So anyway, so just I ask you to be patient with me this summer. I will have scaled back office hours. I'll be in the office pretty much every day, but it'll be kind of a little more sporadic. I might be working in the evenings rather than the mornings or something like that. So be patient with me this summer. Okay, so let me show you the cookies. What I'm going to do is take this off. I'm going to flip the camera um, so it might be a little jerky. And then I'm going to show you. I have some stuff spread out over here to show you. And then I'm going to move you over to the workspace and show you some other things. And then we'll stamp. I have to get my kids in an hour. So that's all I have is an hour. So hopefully I can stick with that. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys off. If I accidentally end this video, which you guys know I've done before, just know that I will start a new one. Okay, hopefully that won't happen. All right, so here are the cookies. So what I tell them, what I, I tell them what I'm doing, and then I, I send them first the ink colors, because that's really my focus are the five ink colors. And then I send them photos of cards that feature some of the new pre-order um, products. So like you can see this one looks just like the little project I made last week. Um, so they looked at my blog, they pulled up my logo, which... I mean, somebody, he did that with icing. I, it blows my mind. I can't even make that cute script with a pencil. And then she she did the Stampin' Up! logo. Here is the ab, Abstract Impressions. Um, really, I think they were looking a lot at those projects we did last week. And they did the little ink pads. This is the butterfly based on the butterfly, butterfly framelit from the Springtime Impressions framelits, which we'll be using today. And this is like um, the stained glass. And then over here, you can see, yes, my hands are clean. And if you're coming to my house tomorrow, I promise, or just don't eat the cookies, I'll eat them. Here are, you can tell these are from um, the vase builder. And here's this. This is that really intricate framelit. I don't know, that looked like it might have been a little, a little difficult. <laughs> but it did good. I used the end colors. This one, look at this, kindness changes everything. Really sweet. And there's the strawberry plant. And I'm not sure what that's based on, but it's pretty. <laughs> what is that? What's that based on? I sent them a picture of a card that Mary Fish did. You'll see that in a second. Um, they did something with that too, um, with the abstract impressions, because I hadn't really used it that much. But I'm gonna, our make and take tomorrow is gonna be with that. So there's another butterfly. Oh, um, this one, look. It's the Share What You Love bundle. So cute. I know, aren't they amazing? really talented and I had to go really far but I have a new car so it was okay I, got, I enjoyed driving my new car so there are my cookies if you're coming tomorrow you can have a cookie as a thank you you can pick which one you like the new in colors are bright and beautiful there's a blueberry bushel so cute the stamp pads are always my favorite the, the stamp pad uh, cookies she made last year were really really cute and I love that one Okay, all right, so there's the cookies. I'm gonna show you some things that I have for tomorrow, some display stuff. I was trying to think of something to do with the end colors. Last year I did a really pretty flower basket, and this year I just, I don't know, I was having a hard time, but I saw this, somebody shared a video that was from like an origami person making origami butterflies, and they were gorgeous. So I tried it, and it wasn't as easy, of course, as the origami person made it look. But they look pretty cute, right? So there's our in colors. And then here are the cards. I'm missing one. <laughs> I don't know where it went. And here's some that we're going to make at my team meeting in a couple of weeks. Here's the in color card that I made for my club in May. Here's one. I don't think I've put this on my blog yet. This is a hostess set. I love this. We used it last week from the stained glass 
framelits. And then I cased a couple things from the catalog because when you're trying to make a whole bunch of brand new cards, it's pretty impossible to come up with things straight, you know, that are original. So, so casing is okay. We saw that one on the blog. That was from Bingo. We're gonna make this project something similar to this in the next couple weeks. Um, and then here's some vases. I'm enjoying playing with the vases. I haven't had a whole lot of time. There's that one. And there's another case from the catalog. I loved it. And you know, somebody posted a picture. One of my Facebook friends posted a photograph they took of the Texas sunset yesterday, and it looked exactly like this. <laughs> I was like, I really should save that because it looked just like that. Um, okay, so here are some other things with new colors. Here's something, oh, I was gonna show you this today. I almost thought about doing this for our Facebook Friday project. Do you guys recognize the little cheetah print? Those are the flowers that we're gonna use in the project today. So I need to pull that out so that we remember. So here's some more cards. And then here's one, and I'm just not quite finished with it, so it needs something, but I'm waiting till my new embellishments get here. Hi, Sandra, you're not too late. We really haven't started much. Here's two of the projects we're gonna to make today. And then here is, I believe, I think this is gonna be the scrapbook page for my stamp club this month. Look at those colors. And then here's some things we made last week. Here's something you'll see on my blog tomorrow. And here is that. I don't know if I've had that on my blog yet. That was a team swap. And then here are some goodies I have for my little party tomorrow. And that will be, I'll show you how to make those later. Okay, so. Some of you are always curious about my office. It's actually pretty clean right now. I'm gonna bring you over here. This is my workspace. This is actually a, um, a, butcher, a butcher block um, kitchen island. Look, here's where I store all my junk. So see, it's not all pretty. And the rabbit sleeps under there. Um, but I got this at a garage sale. And apparently, I didn't know it at the time, but it's a Bose, which is really expensive. And it is my favorite thing I think I own. It's a nice sturdy table. So that's what I do Facebook Lives on. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna set you guys up. And everybody cross your fingers. Let's make sure I don't end the video. This giant phone, why I decided to get a plus instead of a regular, doesn't fit in anything. All right, does that look pretty straight? Australia, Donna, what time is it in Australia? I always feel like you guys are like a day ahead or something. Okay, let me get my water. Okay, I better not put that there. All right, so let's, let's look through the catalog just for a few minutes. I'm not gonna bore you and go page by page, but there are some things I wanna point out to you, okay? Oh, the draft card, yes, I know, I need to remember to show you guys that. I'm trying to read your comments and talk and it's not good. So if you don't have a hard copy of the catalog, let me know, you guys. I am more than happy to send them. If you don't have a demonstrator, I, I'll send it to you for free. Um, but you gotta let me know. And don't, don't let me know here in the comments it gets too crazy. You need to in, instant message me, direct message through Facebook, or email me, okay? Do I have my stuff here? Look, here's my stuff right here. Email me at erica at pinkpucker.com and I'll be more than happy to send you one. Okay, so let's talk about the catalog a little bit. Um, there are two things that are not orderable, and I don't know if you guys know that yet. So, and I'm allowed to show the catalog now because it's live. Just clarifying that. Because one time I showed the catalog before it was live, and I almost lost my mind. So anyway, we're live now. You can see the PDF online. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so make sure you look at the colors. Colors is a big deal. A bunch of new colors. It'll tell you if it's new or returning means it was um, an in color that came back. Those are our color families. I've talked, we've talked a lot about that. Um, okay, very, very front, page 10, the, the planner. It's not in the warehouse yet, so you can't order it yet. So those of you who had it on the list, you gotta wait. But that's okay. I know you have other things you wanna order. You can wait. And I don't think they told us when, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Okay, and then, so now I'm gonna show you my favorite thing. So on page 17, and I used, I've used this a bunch already, this, stitched all around. Um, I like the stamp set, but I am madly in love with the framelits. They are awesome. And I've already ordered myself a second set so that I can mass produce and cut more than one at a time. 
All right, then if you look on page 35, you guys know I love a good 3D item. And I love when there's a framelit set that makes the 3D item. So this is like the little sour cream containers with the curved edges, the cute little edges, and a really good stamp set to go with it. So if you like to make 3D, then you'll love that too. All right, so, and you guys let me know what you think. And I kinda can read them out of the corner of my eye, but I definitely will go back and read them all. Oh, this one, you know I'm getting the bunny set. Cause we have a, a bunny, we have a wild, crazy bunny who's about two years old. And we just bought her a friend who is a teeny tiny baby and all she wants to do is murder him. So hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> And anyways, I love these little rabbits. Um, and it's a punch. Fun punch. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. So you'll definitely be seeing that from me in the future. This is a really cute set too. But that's not one I marked. I tried to really just point out my favorites. Everything on these two pages. Masculine, um, but not necessarily masculine. It's a little travel um, stamp set. But look at the colors. Blue and yellow is like the perfect color combo. Always has been, always will be. And they put it with that new Mango Melody. They're these little stickers. I mean, it's just really cute in a bossing folder. So that's on my first order. All right, now I saw Anne Marie. She and I have very similar taste. This was both of our very favorite bundle in, or suite in the whole catalog. And I don't even know what it says. I just know that it's pink and black and fancy and bright and it's too cute. So you can definitely expect a class with this this bundle from me in the very near future. So cute, hi Connie, hi Crystal. Yeah, definitely number one bundle for sure. Framelits, little candle embellishments, satin ribbon, metallic pearls, fancy paper. Look, black, lemon lime, and lovely lipstick. Hello, it should be called the Erica Suite. I gotta hurry, I can't take this long. We've got, to, we've got to get the kids today. Okay, this cute bundle on page 91, the little elephant, it's a punch. Um, let, me, let me turn, let me turn, let me turn. The lemonade set, sunny days, that's so cute. No framelits to go with it, but very cute if you like to color. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Ooh, yes, I think this is gonna be a class this summer too. Tropical Escape. I especially love that framelit right there where the leaves are connected and they make like a little window. Doesn't that remind you of just a vacation? The colors, pink and green. It was the colors of my dorm room when I was in college. You know, things that you think of. Okay, this is what we're using today. So page 128 and 129, we're using the stamps and the framelits. Okay, this sea of texture, this is my class to go. Make sure you look on the PDF over on my blog right now, pinkbuckaroo.com. This is my class to go. You'll get the bundle and the embellishments and the twine and six make and takes and a PDF. So make sure you look at that. It's at the bottom of the PDF today. When you print it out, you'll see it. I wanted to point this out too. If you are a collector of Stamping Up Colors and you need just all the new colors, here you go. You can get all the new color ink pads, not the in colors, but the new core colors right here. The new markers here, an assortment pack of that new cardstock. So if you are like me and you love color, here's your page, 182. Um, the DSP, the designer series paper, check them out starting here on page 189. This paper is that really fine laser cut paper. I haven't used it a whole lot, but um, it's gorgeous. And then also want to point these out down here. These are six by six color stacks that have all these patterns in all of our colors. The bright family, the subtle family, neutral family, and regal family, and then the end colors too. So those were on my first order as well. All right, now here's something that we're gonna be sad about. Not available for ordering yet, you guys. The new Stampin' Blends. They said mid-month, okay? Those will be here mid-month. The returning colors are now in stock, but the new colors are not. So you can just save that for the middle of the month. Now here's something that you might overlook. The Simple Chamois. That's the thing I've been showing you guys that cleans your stamp. Look how pretty it is when you first get it. This is page 206, it's only $8. And you might want to order a um, stamp case, which would be the standard 
seven and a half by eight and a half by five eighths. That's the one you want, right guys? Is that the right one? I think so. The standard stamp case to, to store it in or, or a quart size, quart size Ziploc bag. And hello, Stamparatus. We have been talking about the Stamparatus for six months. And it's finally in the catalog. All right, so, okay, 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 okay. Let me look. If there's anything else I need to show you back here, a ton of new framelits. And that's it. Okay, so that's my quick and fast and furious stamp tour or new catalog tour. All right, because we've got stuff to stamp. But first, let's do prizes from last week, you guys. Shelly Jeffrey, are you on here? You are the winner of last week's Paper Pumpkin. You don't need to email me. I have your address and I will get it out to you probably on Monday. And then for sharing, this uh, last week I had two winners. I pick randomly from people who share the video. Debbie Green, I don't think I have your mailing address. So Debbie, if you're on here, please let me know. And Janet, I know I have yours, so I'll send these to you. Thanks ladies for sharing the video. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, this week, lots of prizes. First, the big prizes that you have to go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, or hopefully the link that I put in the video up at the top today when I went live, hopefully that works. Go over there, scroll down, and there's a widget. It's called Rafflecopter, and you enter your information, and it randomly will choose two winners for me next week. One winner is gonna get all five in color ink pads. Okay, and the other winner is going to get the Lily Pad Lake Bundle. It's a really good one, framelits and stamps. So you gotta, you gotta go over there and enter. Please let me know which one you want, because you may already have these. If you have these, then tell me this, or vice versa. And if you don't care, you'll take either, then tell me either. Because when I pull them up, the first person that says Lily Pad Lake gets it, and then I pull, I keep pulling until someone says in colors, and then they get it. Okay, so make sure that you enter because that's really good prizes, I think. Now, I said, I told you, I would also be giving away stamp sets today for sharing the video. So next week, I'll randomly choose two winners to receive a stamp set, hand-delivered and pressed flowers. These are hostess stamp sets, which means you can only get them when you spend $150 or you host a workshop that is $150. So that's a pretty good price. So share the video please today. And next week I will choose two winners. Okay, now I printed out the PDF and I don't see where it is. Let's see. Hmm. Well, let's print it again because I want you guys to see it. Um, if you go to my blog and you scroll down below the last picture, there will be a link for this PDF. And it has all the measurements and uh, product information for you. And I can't believe I printed it out, but I don't know where it went. And now my printer's not working. Oh, come on. Why does this always happen when I'm in a hurry? Hmm. Okay, hold guys, hold on, just a sec. Something's wrong with the printer. All right, I also wanna tell you that this is a freebie when you spend $50. This is the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for June. I haven't posted about it yet on my blog, but you'll see it. It's uh, tomorrow, we'll have the blog hop. It is um, 13 tutorials, it's 69 pages long, and you'll get it for free if you spend $50 with me in June. So that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. All right, so let's look at what we're going to Make, I cannot believe I can't find this PDF. So let me show you what we're gonna make and I'm gonna go over there and look at the printer while you guys look. This is what we're making today. Just out of curiosity, how many of you are ordering the Stamparatus today? Because we're gonna use it today and I want you to see it. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. I want you to see it and I know lots of you want it. Okay, let's get started while that's printing. We're gonna make a gift box based on a box that we made at Stampin' Bingo last week. Now, I'm not gonna do the same exact tutorial because that's exclusive to those people who um, did bingo with me. 
However, I'm making something similar. A box that's a little bit smaller. And we use the Springtime, Impre Springtime Impressions Framelits here, and we just adhered it using the multi-purpose adhesive sheet onto the lid of the box, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make a box that's very similar. And we're using three, no, we're using one new color, Lovely Lipstick. And it's an in color, not a new core color. So let me get everything out. We're also using the Stitched All Around. And every project today uses abstract impressions. All right, let me get all my goodies. And I think we are ready. Okay, now let me get my PDF so I can tell you the measurements. And my printer's out of ink, I think that's a problem. All right, so here's a PDF. You wanna print it or save it. The measurements are down here. Everything that I'm getting ready to do is down here. The Lovely Lipstick measures five and a half by six and a half. And the Knight of Navy measures six and a half by seven and a half, okay? Don't, you don't need to write it down. Hop over there and grab it. All right, so before we score, we're gonna stamp. And I am using this stamp right here. And we're gonna use Lovely Lipstick. And I'm going to stamp it all over the front. Now, I pre-filmed some videos yesterday, and if you want to remake this video, you'll find it in the next few days on my YouTube channel so that you can skip through all my chit-chat and uh, find all the directions there. And I wish I had some grid paper. I'm going to have to grab some in a minute. All right, so let's see. You know what? Let's just use this right now. So you want to stamp it in lovely lipstick all over. One more. And then with your chamois, look how beautiful mine is. Don't worry. It rinses clean. And then look, clean, totally clean. I have got to move that cup. I say that every time. All right, now we're going to bring over Knight of Navy. And we're going to do the same thing, except this time we really only need to do it around the edges because you're only going to see the bottom of the box. You're not going to, well, the sides of the box, not the bottom. So we're just going to kind of do it around like this, like that, okay? All right, now let's score it. And I'm gonna use my Simply Scored. And I'm gonna score on this Knight of Navy piece, I'm gonna score it at one and a half on all four sides. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Now, oh, the ink pad is open. Now, let's get this one, the smaller one, and we're gonna score it at one inch on all four sides. But because it's a lid, we want it to, um, be a tiny bit bigger than the bottom. That way it'll slide on easier. Um, if we did an eighth of an inch difference in our measurements, it would make it too big. And that's all that this does is an eighth of an inch. So with five post-it notes here, that's gonna give me just a hair's width difference. So I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna do one inch on all four sides. Now I saw somebody ask, Christine, does the chamois replace the stamp and scrub? And I don't know the official answer to that, Christine, but I'll tell you my answer, yes. It gets things way cleaner than my stamp and scrub because I let my stamp and scrub get absolutely filthy, right? So yes, I have read discussions. I don't know what the official take on it is, but I have read in discussions that the chamois is for photopolymer. However, I am using it for everything and it is amazing. Now you do have to go to the sink every day and rinse it out to get it wet again. It stays damp in that, um, in that stamp case, but it does say on the directions to let it dry out between uses. 
probably to prevent molding. So we'll see right now. I don't know what's going to happen. I've only had it for a month, so we'll see. All right, so did you see I did all that burnishing with my bone folder. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut up on one end just to that score line. Yeah, Stamp and Scrub still is in the catalog. It definitely is. And it has a, it is good if you use it properly. And I am bad because then I just let it sit and I continue to spray and don't clean it out. But it does, it's good. Um, some people will maybe prefer it. All right, now do you guys see what glue I'm using? I'm using Tombow Liquid, which you know I'm not a liquid glue person. I put it on those ends. But when I first made this box and the one for bingo, it kept popping open and I was using Fast Fuse. So then I put some tear and tape and it popped open again. It is so humid here and hot and disgusting. Let me tell you how disgusting it is outside that I just figured that was the deal. So I used Tombow and it did not pop open. So what I'm doing here is I've got some clips and I'm just gonna clip it and let it dry because otherwise I'm gonna have to sit here and hold it to close and we don't want to do that no that's a great question Sandy nope just water 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 is all you need um, and every time I you know like I showed you I cleaned it and then I stamped on the paper and it's totally clean nothing sits down in there and like a, in a puddle like it does with the stamp and scrub um, so it's super clean. And I did throw mine in the washing machine last week because I heard somebody say they did that with theirs. So I wanted to see. And it it got it clean, but it was still stained. So I don't really think you even need to do that unless maybe you've really made it dirty. I don't know. It, it lightened up the stains. All right, so I did the exact same thing with the lid. We're gonna put these little clips. You could use clips. Binder clips, paper clips, whatever. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Let's stamp the sentiment. The sentiment is from the set that goes with those stitch labels called Stitched All Around. And I'm gonna stamp it in lovely lipstick. And you know what? I think we can close this now. And we are going to cut the butterfly, which is right here. These are the springtime impressions framelits. I believe I'm saying the right name. Um, this is what I used on the first box. This is what we're using on the second box. Now, if you have a precision base plate, you could use that here. However, I am finding that these framelits cut so well, I don't even need to use that yet. No, maybe I just haven't used them enough, but um, they are really good. I've got a little one stuck in there from last time. Let me poke it out. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put this here and I like to make it go through long ways because that gives it more time to have more pressure on it. All right, and then the circle we're using here, are my stitched label framelits, we're using this one. And the little doodads that come out of this one are very stubborn. They come out of the paper, they just don't come out of the die. You have to really poke them out. All right, so I'm gonna run it through, and because this is a more intricate die, I'm gonna run it through twice. I'm gonna check it and see how it is. Now you can see that this one just comes right out. Okay, there we go. Now let's check this one. Yeah, look, beautiful. All right, now most of them are already coming off, but you can take your little dye brush and mat. I'm keeping mine in a basket now to try to maintain those little guys. Look, just came right out. So nice. All right, we're going to move this. Oh, my new plate is all funky now. That's okay. I'm only using the new plate with you guys. So hopefully it'll stay nice for a while. Let's move this down here and we're ready to stack. I am going to punch out a Starburst from Vellum cardstock. And of course we've got some dimensionals. Let's put one here. And we're gonna put the butterfly right there. And then one in the middle. And we'll get our, did I see these things? And I could use my die brush, but we'll just use our fingers. 
right there in the middle. And here is the lovely lipstick grow grain ribbon. Which I can't stop using this lovely lipstick. This and gorgeous grape. I can't stop using gorgeous grape. And I told you guys last week I was not a purple person. And now I think I'm a purple person. I'm obsessed with that gorgeous grape. Every project I make, I that's my go-to color now. All right, there we go. Let's see if our glue is dry. Now remember you guys, always during Facebook Friday, if you use the hostess code right here, it's also on that PDF. If you use it by Monday at midnight, I will send you the three make and takes that we're doing here today for free in the mail so you can make them. Oh, I didn't do a very good job there. There we go, perfect. All right, now one more dimensional and we're done. And I was thinking yesterday, you know when you go to buy a gift card like at Walmart and it has a little gift card center, the gift cards come in on those big cards, it would probably fit in there. I think that would be a great, it would just fit right down in there. You wouldn't have to rip it open to put it in a gift card holder. There you go. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Fun, right? Look at that, so pretty. And I really like those colors. Lovely lipstick and Night of Navy. All right, so how many of you are gonna order springtime impressions or how many of you have ordered springtime impressions? I'm gonna be honest with you, I was just kinda of, meh, didn't really appeal to me, but then I saw some things made with it and I started using it and I am now in love with it. It's a really um, fun, unique set. All right, so let me clean up my mess and we'll get the next project. All right, here they are. You can look at it while I'm cleaning. All right, now next project is actually a case. And you guys know what case means. Sometimes people don't know, so I always have to review. Case means to copy and share everything. And that's kind of a, a word we throw around in the stamping world. And it's okay to, to copy people. It's okay to look at other people's projects for inspiration um, because it really, you cannot reinvent the wheel every single time. So I got this card in the mail from Cindy Schuster at the home office. It was a thank you card for doing the Stamparatus blog hop. And this was one of the cards that made me think, ooh, I think I really do like that stamp set. She used very um, subtle, um, subdued colors. And you can see here she did the stripe. This is that new sea foam green. Soft sea foam, I think is what it's called, right there. So I had to do it in bright colors. You see? Now I left off the little stripes because if you did that in a bright color, it would be too crazy. All right, so let's make it. This is an easy project. Easy, easy. And you know what? I am going to, no, we'll just use this paper. All right, so let me show you the color palette. And it looks like I'm missing a couple of my ink pads. We're gonna use Call Me Clover, Pineapple Punch, Melon Mambo. Is it in my other box? Well, goodness. Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape, which I told you guys is like the star right now. Look how beautiful. Okay, now here's that stamp I did, I showed you a minute ago. I've worked myself in a tiny square here, I need to make some space. Here's that the card I showed you earlier. This is that stamp. It is, <laughs> okay, come on, get it together, Sirwin. It is right here, this one and this one. So what I did is crumb cake on that one and um, soft suede on that one. So look, it looks like an animal print. I, I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do that. Okay, but we were gonna make that today, but it didn't match the color, so I went with something different. Okay, so let's start with the big one. Now last time I used, you know what, I, I lied. I used this one before on that project before. Now I'm using that one. So we're gonna do that one in Melon Mambo, about right there. 
And then we're gonna do Gorgeous Grape. Close your snap pad. We're gonna do Gorgeous Grape. I'm gonna turn it like, like that. See how it's, oh, what happened? I didn't ink it very well. You think I could do it again? Let's see. Ah, okay, two sides, that's why cardstock has two sides. Do it again. There's one, and there's two. Now we gotta do the Mella Mambo one over. We're gonna be using this stamp set tomorrow at my catalog kickoff event too. I, I really like it. I really did not expect to like it as much as I do. All right, pineapple punch, just one. And then the leaves, call me clover, right here, like that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it around. I was calling the stamps at the wrong name last week. I was calling it artistic expressions. <laughs> it's abstract impressions. And you have to remember this is an abstract stamp set. So the things are not well defined. They, they can be kind of just, just whatever. So if you kind of just, you know, stamp it all around, it's gonna look like an abstract painting, right? All right, let's do the sentiment, which this set has really good sentiments too. I'm just doing the thank you, but it's a great font. Now remember, our basic black ink is gone. We now have Memento and Stays On. And of the two, I prefer Memento um, because Stays On is kind of a heavier, stickier ink, but you've got to use Stays On if you're watercoloring. Memento if you're using blends. And all your other stamping, you could use whatever you want. However, I don't like what stays on ink does to my photopolymer stamps. So I recommend you only use Memento unless you absolutely have to use that stays on. Thanks, Betty, I appreciate it. I just moved the iPad over here. I forgot you guys were there. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> I wasn't reading any of it. Ah. Okay, so look, these are our new purples. Gorgeous grape and Highland Heather, gorgeous. We're gonna layer these on, but first we're gonna put some ribbon on the back here. And have I not used the fast views today? What's up with that? I've forgotten a hundred things. Hmm, here it is. All right, and you guys know, I told you last week, I'm gonna use my fast views until it runs out. It's no longer available. Don't flame me, don't get mad, I know, but I've got enough to last me a long time, so I'm just gonna keep using it. But you can use snail or tear and tape. And I put two lines there, and see how I did my ribbon? I went straight and did a loop, straight over, did a loop, and straight over. And that's what it looks like. Gorgeous, right? All right, so let's put some, oh, you know what? Okay, we're gonna have to do that differently. We're gonna put this down first. The measurements of these um, pieces of cardstock are on that PDF over on my blog. So make sure you go find it. We're gonna put this adhesive here. It went a little too wide last time. No dimensionals except on that sentiment. Oh, I didn't even say I punched that out with a truly tailored tag punch. All right, and there you have it, gorgeous. Oh wait, no, I added a few more things. It didn't, it didn't have enough. So I added these pearls. These are the share what you love pearls. They are not the exact same color that we stamped with, but that's okay. They're so tiny. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put a couple of those there. All right, now it's done. All right. What do you guys think? Super cute, bright colors. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the, to the point where I can stop using these purples. They're so amazing. Okay, the last project that we're gonna do is gonna use that Stamparatus. Let's clean our stamps, because I'm gonna need one of them. I don't remember which one I need. I know I need this one. We gotta make sure they're clean. Don't forget to add that chamois to your first order. I really think that you're gonna love it. Only $8. You know, that's 
that's a cheap item when it comes to our catalog. Our stuff is very high quality and um, the prices reflect the quality that you're getting. Remember, if something is super cheap, it's also made super cheap. Our things are not made super cheap. They are very high quality and they're worth it. So $8 is a really great price. Okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Here's the card that we're making. And I had somebody request this, um, this tutorial. I showed you guys this card last week. It's a case of um, a card from somebody online, I can't remember, and she did this. It's, they call it, I think, a wreath builder technique. I don't know, basically you're stamping around in a circle. So that's what we're doing here. And I've done a little bit of, of it ahead of time, and, but I'm gonna explain it to you. You're gonna need your apparatus. It's now available, everybody can order it. And you're gonna, you only really just need one plate. Let me turn it this way. Mm. How did I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it this way. And you need to make a template. I decided to make my card five by five. Okay, so it's a five inch across, 10 inches long, scored in the middle. The white piece is four inches. So I cut out my white piece and I cut a piece of grid paper that is six inches by six inches. And I took this and I lined it up between the five and the one, and over here, same thing, one and five, and I drew a square. Then I turned it and I made sure that the points are at three, and three, and I traced it. And that's all you need. Now you could do this with square framelits, except we don't have frame, square framelits this size. Sorry guys, I'm super thirsty. Um, so you have to make your own template, okay? Grid paper is always handy to have, and I recommend that you get some. All right, now we're gonna use these two guys right here. And let's see, that's what I was using earlier. That's the one I need. We're gonna start with a solid one. And I'm gonna place it right here. I'm, gonna, I'm eyeballing, but it's, it works. You wanna make sure it's right there at the top and right in the middle with a three. Now, because it's a photopolymer stamp, I have the black foam here. That way it'll be thick enough. Now, if it picks the paper up, no worries, because you have that that um, square, you know where to put it. And I've got my magnet over here holding this paper. All right, now I'm gonna need my chamois because any ink that I get on this clear, on this clear plate, I have to wipe off. Where is my Highland Heather? My goodness, I haven't pulled that out either. I was stamp, stamp, stamping yesterday afternoon and I was pulling them off and I didn't put them back, I apologize. All right, so this is Highland Heather, the lighter purple. I'm gonna stamp it, make sure I didn't get any ink there, or ink it, and then stamp, okay? Now, one thing you can do is put a stamp case underneath there that keeps it flat. All right, now I'm gonna turn it to sit in that diagonal, that diamond that I drew, ink again, and stamp, okay? Now, oh, turn it. Ink it, oh, wipe it, right there. Because if you, if, you, if you push down with that ink on there, you might get ink on your white. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going around until we have a circle. It's pretty easy. You could do pretty much anything like this. Flowers, um, my friend Allison did um, hearts and a rainbow for our Stamparatus blog hop. It was beautiful. You could do beach balls or baby rattles. I don't know, anything just that you want in a perfect circle. It is a little slow. This is not something I would do if I needed 100, <laughs> for sure. Unless you like to do this, you can just go around and around and around. All right, I think we've got one more. And it should fit perfectly. There we go. All right, so that's how you make a circle. Now, we're going to 
take the inside stamp that goes with this one and it looks like this. And maybe I just don't know, but really I don't think it matters. I think if you just center it, because remember it's abstract. There's no like perfect lineup, unless I just don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not, but if there is, oh well. Mine's abstract. Okay, so we lined it up, we put, we got the plate down, had perfect placement. Now we're gonna do the same thing with Gorgeous Grape. You probably could go ahead and do this with your just your clear block because you already have the circle, the, the first flowers in a circle. But I wanna make sure mine are all the same. So I'm just gonna keep going. Use my chamois to wipe that down. Have any of you tried this technique with your Stamparatus? I'm gonna admit, at first I was very intimidated until I did it and I was like, well, that was easy. Okay, you guys, I have 10 minutes. Can I finish it in 10 minutes? I'm pretty sure I can. My daughters, they can walk home from school, right? It's, I don't know, what's the temperature right now outside, you guys? My San Antonio friends. It says 95, but I would think it's more like 105. We have a really nasty heat index here. Turn that. My oldest daughter is in fifth grade, so she's promoting this year, and they had their big party today, and they were having a water party. So they couldn't wear their bathing suits unless they wore clothes over it. So she went to school today with a bathing suit and shorts and a shirt over it. I don't know what she's gonna be like when she comes home. All right, you guys, what do you think? So cute, right? So cute. All right, so now let's do the leaves. I'm just gonna leave it there and stamp on that. Um, the leaves, I'm gonna do the same stamp I did in the previous project and the same color, call me Clover. And I'm just gonna stamp in between. Again, you could do this with the Stamparatus plate, but I am not too, too picky about these leaves being exactly the same. And then, whoops. Let's see. There we go. All right, and the last part is the sentiment I told you guys this set has gorgeous sentiments. Kindness changes everything, just like that uh, cookie over there, it's so cute. All right, kindness changes everything. We're gonna stamp it in, gorgeous grape, right in the middle. <gasps> Ta-da! Lots of stamping on this project. Oh wait, we're not done. We're not done stamping. All right, let me wipe this off, because I will lose it if I don't get it right now. All right, so Stamparatus, add it to your order, add it to your birthday list, whatever, but you really should get it. It's pretty amazing. All right, here, let me bring back my paper. Here's our card base, and this time, hmm, which one do I wanna use for the outline? Um, hmm, I think I used the big one, so let's do, Let's do that one. You can really do any of them, right? Gorgeous grape. A rooted in nature class, Lisa. Maybe, oops, oh my gosh. My stamp just came off into the grape. I'm gonna make a giant mess. I honestly, Lisa, have not played with rooted in nature yet. Um, the colors in the paper that go with it just do not speak to me. They are not my colors. But now that I have access to all the paper, I probably will. Um, play with it more and do some different colors. So I will add it to my list. All right, so I'm just gonna go around the edge, some off, some on, but I want them to be seen behind our little matted, matted um, stamped circle. Now, on that first order I told you guys, I ordered, that I already put in, I ordered a ton of gorgeous grape card stock because if you get these make and takes for free from me, this is one of the things you're gonna get. And a five by five card actually takes a full piece of card stock, not a half of a piece. 
This is the Highland Heather. It's four and a fourth by four and a fourth. And I just put it, put it on there flat, but I do want to use dimensionals here. And I haven't been reading y'all's comments at all. What set did you say you're doing next? Debbie, I think I'm gonna do either the Broadway birthday or the Tropical Chic, is that what it's called? The pink and green? It's gonna be one, of, one or two of those, um, most likely. All right, so dimensionals on that. Animal outing class. I do like the animal outings, Joy. I just haven't done much with it because I want the framelits first. And I want, that's the one, um, the giraffe card, right, that I made. That's what it's called, animal outings. Um, and I want that paper and the, the leaf ribbon. Oh, my goodness. I didn't really feel like I could do it justice without all the things that go with it. Thanks, guys. I'm telling you, I am a purple convert. I thought I didn't like purple. That changed my mind. All right, so a linen linen um, thread bow with a glue dot. And these are the true gentleman buttons carrying over from the occasions catalog. They're great, just brown buttons right in the middle. And there we go. Now, envelopes for these. You can use the envelope punch board to make an envelope that'll fit a five by five card. There's also new envelopes in the catalog that might fit these. I meant to look, let's look. Um, and a five by five card does require more postage. Yay, isn't that fun? <sighs> so just know that going in. Where are they? They're with the, um, are they the memories and more cards and envelopes? Well, no, four by six, that would not fit, would it? Hmm. So you might just have to make your own envelope using, we have three by three square, but we don't have any other square envelopes. So use your um, envelope punch board to make a five by five. This would probably be a card you need to hand to somebody instead of mailing. I mean, you can mail it. You can make your envelope and mail it, but I don't know. I don't trust the post office. The post office and I do not have a good relationship. <laughs> they, we just are not friends. They, they give me a lot of stress. All right, here are our projects for today. I hope you guys liked them. Um, it's honestly been very hard for me to create in the last week or two because I want everything from the new catalog and I feel like um, I have to wait. All right, so let me go back and look. So Debbie's asking, I love the lily pad lake and sea of textures. Are you doing either one of these in a class? Any of these in the near future? So Debbie, if you look on the PDF for today, which is over on my blog, I, am, I have a sea of textures class available right now. Type that in and you will find it, okay? Um, this is over at my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Scroll down under the last picture. It's a big link. It says, click here for these PDFs, okay? So, and then Lilypad Lake, probably not. I like it. I just don't know if I can squeeze in a class. Maybe, maybe next spring. I don't know. I kind of, I don't know, maybe, but I, but, but it's not on my short list. Can you show the gray card again? Sure. The gray card. Um, you're talking about the one that I cased, right? The one from um, Cindy. This one, is that what you're talking about? Let's see. My, my watch band, thank you. Amazon, I ordered a really expensive one and it was awful. It would not stay, you know, cinched and it was too heavy for the, the band, was too, wasn't strong enough, I don't know. Anyway, Amazon was like, I don't know, $12. Love it too. Um, let's see if I, I'm going back through your comments to see if I missed anything. Um, so next, my next classes will probably, for classes, not for Facebook Friday, but for classes, probably that Broadway birthday or Tropical Chic. I think that's, is that what that's called? Tropical Chic, the one, the pink and green suite. Um, let's see, I don't wanna miss anything. 
You can hand wash your chamois with a little Dawn dish soap. Robin, I, you know what, I did that, and I had a hard time getting the soap out of it. Um, Cause I, I heard that too, but I had a really hard time getting the soap out of it. I mean, I rinsed it and rinsed it and rinsed it. Um, and then when I went to use it, it was still a little sudsy, so I had to go rinse it again. Let's see. <laughs> Lisa, glad I could help you add a few things to your order. Abstract impressions. The the framelits are called, and I meant to, I meant to um, point that out to you guys. The framelits are called, I didn't even say that, springtime impressions framelits, okay? Just the framelits by themselves. The stamp set is abstract impressions. Now, if you want them together, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys this. If you want them together, the framelits and the stamp set, which is over here, you will get them at a 10% discount if you buy the bundle. Okay, you save 10% when you buy them together. And I put that right here, that's the very top one. Oh no, look, I failed. Look on the, the sweet page over there in the catalog and there's a bundle item number for you there, okay? It'll save you 10, 10%. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Is this the card um, that you wanted to see? I hope I left it out long enough. Um, Laura, you're loving the colors. You're not a person, purple person either. I guess we just had, didn't know the right purples, Laurie. Now we do. Yes, Kimberly lives here with me. She's feeling my humidity woes. Our rabbits have come inside too. They can't be outside in this heat. So now I have two rabbits living inside and all their fun. <laughs> rabbits have a lot of fur, you guys, a lot. Um, the six by six packets of DSP. Okay, let me show you that. In the catalog, DSP, I don't have any to show you because I've actually used up almost everything that I had, but they're right here on page 191, Debbie. Six by six, they color, come in all the color families and the two in color groups. All right, let's see. All right, so you guys, I will be around today. Tomorrow is my catalog kickoff and I will be here. Um, however, be patient with me as I try to juggle my family and all of this this weekend. Stampin' Up! office will be open tomorrow. If we have any problems, we'll be able to call. They're not usually open on um, Saturdays. Let's see, Margaret says, how about page 43, Bubbles and Bubbly with a 3D box bag. What? I don't know, I need to look. Okay, Margaret's telling us, let's look at page 43. You know, you can look at this catalog a 100 times and still miss it. Oh, the bubbles and bubbly. Is that what you're talking about? With 3D box bag to put homemade soap. Oh, so <laughs> I thought you said soup. So that would be really cute. You're so smart. That would make a great gift. I read soap. I mean, soup. I was having a hard time figuring that out. Your first purchase was the bunny bundle, Doreen. Really? It's so cute. I love it. I can't wait to play with it. Um, and I'm going to do something in the near future showing you guys how to, to um, set up those stamps on your block so that they'll punch the um, so they'll punch all together at the same time. All right, I think I covered it all. I'll go back again in a little while. Um, all right. Well, anyways, you guys, thanks for joining me. Oh, I'm sorry. My elbow's there in the screen. That's not very attractive. All right, you guys, I think... That I got you. I hope that you have fun today figuring out your first purchase. I hope I've inspired you um, to add some gorgeous grape <laughs> and the chamois to your order, as well as that stamp apparatus. It's amazing. Remember, if you need a catalog, email me. Don't forget, if you're gonna, if you want the make and takes, you gotta use the hostess code by Monday night. Unless your order is over $150 between now and Monday at midnight, you'll automatically get these. You don't have to use the hostess code when you hit $150 because then you get stampin' rewards, which starting at $150 is $15 in free products. And I would much rather you get that. So please use that and don't worry, I'll see your order and I'll send you the make and takes. Also, the prizes. Go over and enter to win the either the ink pads or the stamp sets. And if you share this video, you'll also be entered 
to win one of those stamp sets. And I think that's it for me. I will be back next Friday with the chaos in my house, so be prepared. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.